out of all teams, Orlando Brown Jr. <laughs> Had to go to the Bengals. Team, keep it clean. It's freelance in the building. What's going on? Orlando Brown Jr., former chief. But before that, he was a former Baltimore Raven. He is signing uh, what's said to be a four-year deal with the Cincinnati Bengals uh, for $64 million and change. And that comes with a $31 million signing bonus. So if we just break down the $64 mil for four years... Uh, that's 16 mil per year. Nice chunk of change for Orlando Brown Jr., who has been trying to get something worked out for the longest. He tried to get something worked out for a couple years with the Chiefs. It didn't work uh, with the Baltimore Ravens when he was there. Everybody knew that he wasn't going to get paid from them because they had already paid Ronnie Stanley. So they weren't going to pay Ronnie Stanley as a left tackle and Orlando Brown Jr., who said he was a left tackle as well. They weren't going to be paying two left tackles. And and a lot of us figured that they weren't even going to pay him uh, as a right tackle either. Um, but I'm happy for Orlando Brown Jr., man. He, he waited this thing out. Um, he was patient with it. He tried to get it done previously, but it just didn't work out. But now he gets his bread, and he goes to a really good team too uh, with the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, the Cincinnati Bengals, a couple years ago, uh, they knew their offensive line was really bad. It, it, it was all kinds of bad. Uh, but they still made it to the Super Bowl. So what did they do the following year? They, they upped the offensive line. It didn't work out all the way, but it got a little better. <coughs> but it still had some, <coughs> excuse me, some rough patches here and there. Uh, but it didn't quite work out the way that they had hoped. So now they're like, you know what? We're going to try again, and we're going to try again with somebody who we are very familiar with. Like, the Bengals are extremely familiar with Orlando Brown Jr. Like, think about this. He got drafted to the Ravens in what, 2018? He got drafted to the Ravens. So the Bengals got to go against him twice a year. Twice a year for a while, and then the Ravens, like, Again, just to recap the story, Ronnie Stanley, he got hurt. And when Ronnie Stanley would get hurt, Orlando Brown Jr., they would move him over to left tackle. And he did pretty good there. Um, but, again, we knew that he wasn't going to get paid from the Ravens. And they ended up trading him to the Chiefs. I'm like, man, you really made a strong team stronger. But anyway, they traded him to the Chiefs. And now, so they go from playing Orlando Brown Jr. twice a year to playing Orlando Brown Jr. like, Twice a year again because, you know, these Bengals, they end up seeing the Chiefs every year twice a year because they played them in the regular season. Then they turn around and end up playing them in the playoffs like every year now. So they got to see a lot of Orlando Brown Jr. So you get to see his highs, you get to see his lows, you get to see everything in between. So they are extremely familiar with this guy. So now they turn around and, and they sign him. So they, they definitely got to do get a scouting report multiple times. They got plenty of scouting reports on him. Um, but this is a good signing for them. Um, and this is a good move. Uh, for him as well um, Joe Burrow he They got some wonderful weapons Over there in Cincinnati uh, So with Orlando Brown Jr. As a left tackle And they said this is for him to play left tackle Not right tackle um, But as a left tackle uh, As an offensive lineman really If your quarterback is going to be Getting the ball out of his hands quick Like he, he got a lot of options To get the ball out of his hand quick So there's going to be times When Orlando Brown Jr. He won't have to hold up so long And what not um, But this should be It should be a pretty good fit for him uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to work out. And with Orlando Brown Jr., like, this was one of the last big things, in my opinion, that he had to accomplish. He got drafted. He got drafted a little later because he, he's probably a higher pick, maybe a first, second round pick, but he had a bad combine, so that dropped him. So the Ravens took advantage of that. They drafted him, um, and it ended up going good. Uh, but then again, they weren't going to pay him, so he went to the Chiefs, and they tried to work it out. They be, had been negotiating for years, but they just couldn't get it done. So now he's a Super Bowl champion. He's a Super Bowl champion, and that's like, that's something that not a lot of people can say. But anyway, he's a Super Bowl champion, but he couldn't quite get his bread. He played on a franchise tag for Kansas City, couldn't get his bread from there. Then uh, last week, the report had came out that, oh, the Chiefs are going to let Orlando Brown Jr. test free agency. Well, they let him test it, and now he's with the Bengals. So now he gets his big payday. Um, so he, he's just been accomplishing everything. Over these past couple of years, his career has just been moving it's been elevating it's been taking off so i'm happy for orlando brown jr so now um he he just he, he's going to some like good teams in the afc like back when the ravens were a lot better back then uh when he was on there um and then he went to the chiefs and they obviously are great 
Uh, and he was on there, and and even before he, he was on there, they were great too. But then he went. He's going to the Bengals, and the Bengals have been great for these past couple of years. So, hey man, shout out to Orlando Brown Jr. because he's just going from winning to winning to winning, and and now his bank account is making him win even more. 